I'm Andy Kirkpatrick. Today I'm going to share with you some survival tips that I've learned over the years. Tips I've passed on to people like Lofty Wiseman, Bear Grylls, that other fella. And I hope you're going to take <laughs> Right, we're going to begin with a few things that you can find in an ordinary tent or house or riverboat. And uh, to begin with is the toothbrush. This looks like an ordinary. <laughs> this looks like an ordinary toothbrush <laughs> with brown, brown marks on it. Stuck in. We're going to begin with an ordinary toothbrush. This is just an ordinary everyday toothbrush, made by somebody, Oral B, who used to make porn films, and um, it's just a toothbrush. That's what you might think. Often it's the only thing you're left with. You may crash into a mountain and be thrown clear of the wreckage and all you have is the toothbrush that you were using on the plane. First of all, one of the most important things you can use a toothbrush for is you can clean your teeth. Because dirty teeth are the is probably the most the most not the, the most obvious way you're gonna die because you know you've been eating the other people on the plane you get really bad breath, the helicopter comes, help me, help me. Oh my God, that guy's breath stinks, <laughs> let's leave him. <laughs> oh God, that's... <laughs> the next object we have is an ordinary container of Vaseline. Vaseline, people don't know this, means water line in German, and that's a clue of how useful it is because in this little tin of Vaseline the Germans those crazy crazy guys they actually have taken 50 litres of water and condensed it which means to shrink down into this tiny tin and all you have to do is lick it every hour lick it and every lick is equivalent of a cup of tea but without the tea just the water and with this one tin, you could probably survive perhaps a week. Also, it's very useful because when you when you have to maybe climb over a mountain range to get help, your um, testicles can get really rubbed raw because the rubbing around because you the person who survives generally is the one with the biggest testicles. So also you can take some of this Vaseline waterline and rub it anti testicles. Um, it's best if you have your own your own Vaseline. If there's a few of you then it's probably best if they just die and you just keep Vaseline to yourself because you don't want to be rubbing it on your own testicles and licking it at the same time. If you got really desperate and you run out of Vaseline you can lick your own testicles. <laughs> <laughs>